Monday. I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. I'm doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. Just in case, before we jump into today's reaction video, if you did not catch my last upload, there is the thumbnail. Y'all go over and check it out. As y'all can see, yes, I did post on a Saturday. If you are new here and you are wondering who I'm talking about, I would say this fucking liar, okay? She is one she sits and she contradicts everything she say, everything she display, every video, every the whole story, the whole sum up. That's all she gives. And, and then that's where I say a fucking bunch of lies, okay? And all that adds up right along with her neglect, okay? Right along with her favoritism of her kids and just her being a hating, hating ass breeder at the end of the day. I am talking about Shanika Grant, Miss Independent Nika, Nika Busy Life 10 Edition, Nika and the Crew, okay? She titled all this shit Miss Nika Crazy Life in 10 Edition. Your addition, they just a tag alone. They just a add-on. But that don't mean shit to you. You don't pull them out the house. You run around and roll around with Naya all damn day. And you might pull Lena out. Continuing to leave your baby at home. Allowing Leah to be responsible for her and the other kids. That's a sad-ass, sour-ass situation. I would say at the end of the day, I couldn't even get on here and say, y'all don't understand what I deal with. Uh behind closed doors as being a mother oh shit you can show your ass i mean a damn enough we know what takes place and everything that you are dealing with so you say then it's where it's like corman is a bitch you are deserving of all things anyways y'all let's talk and let's jump right on in into today's reaction where do i start okay where do i begin okay i have a certain direction that i say i'm gonna get on here and boom but then it's it's a little add-ons that I want to throw in here. So then you say, where do you fucking start? Where do you start with this breeder that comes on and say, all I'm giving is 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 the real, okay? The raw, okay? All I give is this. And so many people dislike me and judge me because this is what I give. Then you say at the end of the day, if a dog, okay, if a dog could speak those fucking words, they actually would, okay? Because then that's where I say, your words mean absolutely nothing, okay? So when you come out here and you say what you don't do to your kids is what you actually do in the background. When you come out here and you say you have no reason to lie about certain things, then that's where I say, that's what you actually give it. Talking contradiction, okay? She sees her and she contradicts herself on everything and allow others to come back and say, okay, but you said this, you put a video out about this, you tried to address this, but do you remember this? Y'all, before we jump in any reaction video, I want to talk about, have y'all paid attention to her comment section, okay? I'm just saying. First time you go over there, the comments is off. Then when you go back, there's about two comments. But now, okay, all of a sudden, and I made sure that I took it so I can display just to show y'all. All of a sudden now, y'all, okay, you getting the same comment from different fake people, okay? Saying, good video, nice video, good video, so beautiful, good video, good video, okay? But then, did y'all pay attention to the names, okay? We got Hayward, Hayward Bowser, yeah, the fuck, Hayward Bowser. We got Christopher Bowser, oh, what the fuck? We got Aaliyah, something else. So then you say... Are we really that damn bad, okay, that damn bad in the YouTube streets to make fake accounts, okay, and also allow my kids to make fake accounts and put good things up on the video. See, that's just like some places they be wanting you to move to their place or they want you to shop with them. And, and when, when 
They have the review section. You know, it's all about, you know, promotion, okay? I want you to buy. I want you to rent. I want you... Yeah, so we're going to make some fake-ass comments as well to outweigh the bad. But there is no way the breeder have all these good comments and there's nothing bad to say. Then that's where you say real recognize everything. You are able to distinguish the real people that's coming on here talking about your comment and all the fake accounts and comments at the bottom that's saying the exact same thing. And not only that, y'all, the video is so fucking good. They might, okay, they just might comment more than once. <laughs> Who does that shit? If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Okay? Whoever I am and what I'm presenting, they gonna finally see. Okay? And they gonna like me for what I give. Okay? And the content. No need to go out my way and make fake accounts or even try to pull my kids in the situation. It's like, come in under my video. Damn. I mean, you're just not fucking smart, okay? In certain situations, you are not smart. So stop putting yourself in that situation to get on, get on here and then get called the fuck out. Get called the fuck out because you have a lot of fake comments. So then that's where you say, does this mean where you say you and Riddick, they hate to love you, they hate you, but they really love you? Is that what you're giving here? To say, look at them now, okay? Or look at the people now. They love me. Your content, okay? Your content is not even worth saying great content, good video, good video and beautiful. What the fuck? We know they speaking gibberish. They speaking that same shit that you be over there speaking that don't nobody understand. This is fake and you serve fake and this is what you put out here. Not only that, y'all, let's move to, we're going to talk about the video titled, Naya is leaving tomorrow. I'm going to miss her. Taking her with me to have a talk. Y'all, sometimes reactions get reaction. Okay, I'm just saying. Um, so all of a sudden, Naya is leaving. Okay. But beforehand, before Naya came back on, Naya came in the picture. She was only coming for the weekend. And the weekend lasts for a while. Okay. To come and do the girls her up. But somewhere in there, Nika also had a DSS visit. So a lot of us say Nick so a lot of us say Naya ran and came in to try to save the day. Save the day with the girls to make sure they her was calm to help the breeder out because she can't take care of these kids by herself. She just can't. And it is visible for everybody to see that she can't handle them by herself. Naya comes in and Naya brings a little structure. But then you say, why does she have to stop her world to to join in in yours and try to help you with all these thousand kids that you brought in and you can't handle them and do nothing with. But when she step in, she tries to bring a little structure, but it's hard to bring a little dab of structure here and there when you're gone and not around the breeder, just allow them to have their way. Okay, I would say. And talking about Naya, okay, Naya is back on the air mattress. We heard the conversation. We heard the conversation when they was in Dollar General. Naya needed a fan. She was asking for two fans so she could have one in her face. All these different things, okay? So we was listening to the conversation, and the conversation seems like Naya is back, okay? We didn't say that, okay? We didn't put the conversation out here. We didn't do none of that. We put one plus one plus two equals, yeah, look like she, she needs somewhere to go. She needs somewhere to stay. Look like she might not have her job no more. Look like she'd have fell back in this trap hole. That's what we got from that. About the TV in the room, and then Nika said, TV? Okay, so the room that she has is basically the living room space. I showed y'all that. We can definitely tell that something is taking place. She has to be back or thinking about coming back or might just have to be there right now just to fucking help the breeder out. Y'all, she came on 
Okay, she talked about Naya, and Naya did her some braids, and she wants to show everybody the braids and look, and it's just a test, practice, this and that. But we came to show that you are fucking lying because this is the same practice that Naya did before. This was just a hating ass move towards Leah, okay, because you feel some type of way in your heart. Then that's why I say she just fucking cold hearted to that girl, okay, for her own personal reasons her and Naya okay so she was receiving a lot of of pressure I'm just like pressure for putting these box braids in her hair allowing Naya to do her hair and not do Leah's hair she was receiving pressure just calling her a hater and how could you do your daughter like that and Basically, you knew she wanted that. Also receiving pressure to say, hey, I thought, where's the friend at? I thought the friend was coming to do her hair. Then Nika said, oh, she's still coming. She, do, she doing it when school starts. Let me ask you a question right please. Why drink this energy drink right here? <laughs> Up until a friend supposed to do her hair? She still get it done before school. To sum it all up, I'm talking about all the pressure, the pressure that she was receiving. The pressure that she was receiving made her take her shit down. Two reasons that my hair was getting hot and my hair was kind of like, I don't know, I guess it's the weave or whatever, but I got to explain myself to nobody but watch y'all tune when y'all coming on my channel talking about some messy braids. I'm telling you, that's just Okay, did y'all feel it? Y'all see it? Well... I know I was wrong, cause she knew she was wrong. She knew she was wrong when she bought that fucking her. She knew she was wrong when she sat down and allowed Naya to start braiding that shit. She knew she was wrong, okay? So she probably didn't think she was gonna receive all this shit because we was all just sitting and waiting. We was all just sitting and waiting and said, I know this bitch better not go out here and get her hair done. I know she better not put herself in that seat. I know she better not put herself before that girl and that girl asked for this, okay? We already knew what was next, okay? It's like knowing the whole book before you even start reading that whole, okay? You already know what she gonna give next. But what she thought was, well, if I get out here and I just say, well, now you just did a test, shh, everybody be quiet, they'll understand it, they'll also understand that Leah's just gonna get her hair done when school start. But everybody didn't accept it that way. Some of her bookies didn't even accept it that way, okay? So, how long did she keep these braids in her hair? As I said in my last video, she didn't leave them in no time. She left them in less than a week, she took them out. Okay, then tried to make up the excuse. She think it was something wrong with the her and she couldn't keep it in. No, it was the fucking pressure. Sometimes that pressure is so, so much, your fucking ass can't breathe, right? So you took it out. You also took it out because you knew, okay? You already knew you was in the fucking wrong. You did, it didn't take nobody else in the YouTube streets to tell your overgrown ass you was wrong. I say that to say because I'm trying to point something out, okay? She is listening, okay, to everybody and what they say, and that's why she stay addressing, thinking, okay, everybody have a different outlook of her. That's the same reason why she went to Walmart and caught somebody else's little girl, okay, with no shoes on and wanted to present it to say, look, okay, why y'all can't talk about this? When y'all see people on the outside, why y'all can't bring it to social media and drag and talk about them? Why it always gotta be me? It pisses me off. We know it pisses you off in the fucking background. That's why you come on and say, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors as you being a mother, okay? We have where we are in discussion about Naya. Is Naya still working? Is Naya back? Damn, Naya just can't break free, can she? Damn, seem like Naya in a trap. If y'all actually think she not watching and listening and read never come in, she is doing that, okay? I gotta, I gotta think of what's next. I gotta think of what next to give. I gotta think of what's next to say, okay? I also did my video talking about Naya. Damn, sleeping on the air mattress. You 20 years old. Okay, one thing you want to do is live your life at this age, not regret it because you're trying to help your breeder raise her kids when at the end of the day, they do have another half out there, another half that ain't fucking claiming or spending time or abundant, but that ain't your problem though. Daddy trying to run in to save the day to make sure she don't get her kids taken away. These are the videos, these are the things that people are saying, now here I come. Naya is leaving me tomorrow. I'm going to miss her. 
taking her with me to have a talk. Where the fuck is Naya going? Okay, because you said she was only there for the weekend to do the girl's hair, and she was long, she was there longer. She needed a fan. You had to blow the air mattress up. Not only that, she talked about setting the room up. Okay, not only that, y'all was having conversation where uh, Nika was saying, I, I asked you what you wanted to do, but you ain't said nothing. And Naya's still there. Naya cooking eggs and bacon. Okay, Naya in the dollar store trying to help her to figure out what to cook. What type of meal? Naya is in the video uh, cutting up hot dogs. I thought she's supposed to have been fucking gone. Okay? So then you titled this video saying that Naya is leaving. But in the video, you talked about nothing with her leaving. But this is everything that's being discussed in the YouTube street. So this is how I'm going to present it. Y'all talking about she is here and she's back and she's living here. Let me throw y'all hoes out. She leaving tomorrow. But as we can see, she's still there. Okay? So she take what we say and then she try to paint a pretty picture of it when it's not true. Naya seems like she is back. She seems like she has nothing going for herself. You want to keep her trapped, trapped as being your camera man, okay? Don't live your life. Just come hold the fucking camera. So I'm going to bounce around, okay? I want to go to the video titled, The World Would Never Understand What I Really Go Through Behind Closed Doors as Being a Mother. First of all, not a mother, okay? It takes a whole lot to be one of those. It's an everyday learning type of situation, okay? When you have Lena coming on here and she's peeing on herself constantly, you're not putting the effort in to potty train, but you put the effort in into these shorts. You put the effort in into addressing, okay? <laughs> addressing. Then she would say she's giving y'all comments a shout out. That's not a fucking shout out. That's taking the time out of your day trying to address, okay? So in this video, okay, they, they in Dollar Tree. Was it Dollar Tree? Dollar Tree was the first store that they went in. She's a dollar running hoe, okay? She runs off a dollar, okay? Family dollar, dollar general, uh, dollar tree, okay? Anything that's got dollar attached to it, she's she's running. And this is the content that you're going to get every day. Running in a dollar store to buy cereal, candy, chips, snack, soda, drinks, different things like that. So in this video, if y'all caught, okay, she was holding the camera. Naya wasn't holding the camera. They got to the cash register. Nika said, here, I've been holding it the whole time. Bitch, it's your phone. This is your job, okay? I didn't sign up to be your YouTube, your camera woman, cameraman, however, okay? I can't make money like this. You can't make money by holding your own camera and recording the things that you need to capture for your video. So instead, you want Naya to tag along and run along and hold the camera up. But at the end of the day, when my coins run dry and I don't have nothing and I ask you to buy me just a $10 pair a pajama pants and you say no you can get it at roses and when we go to the roses guess what you don't buy me shit you want me to hold the camera so when we go out to getting any type of fast food you buy me a fucking kids meal or a meal that I might have to share with you is that right hmm okay so they start to have little words okay Naya basically said she ain't making no money she ain't making no money by this Nika wanted to say, oh, you're not making no money. You do make money, okay? You don't ask me for money. This is the type of situation and predicaments that she put her kids in. But somehow, Naya just can't get out and stay the fuck out, okay? 
manipulation. You hold the camera. I'm going to pay you, but you ain't paying me shit. You paying me pennies. I could be out there on a job doing so much more than walking around holding a camera. How the fuck can you get mad because I don't want to be your camera person? Okay, I don't want to hold it and, and record you. How can you get mad? How can you snatch your daughter away from what she's giving and doing to put her in this situation of coming to your house, cooking for the kids, putting them in order while I lollygag and bullshit around? How can you do that? Not giving a fuck. Selfish as hell. Not really caring about what she got going, what she trying to do. Long as you can do this shit for me. Okay, long as you doing right by me and doing for me i'm good and great rather than that i'm a catch your attitude i'm a talk shit this is what i'm gonna give way back remember when naya was working when she had a vehicle okay she would pick them up take them to the store buy them food buy them drinks doing all these things now that she was out and about and she is trying to work and be on her own not attached to nika not dealing with her siblings 24-7. She has no way to maneuver. But Nika get on here and talk about the three vehicles that she is blessed to have. But she can't fucking share one. She can't share one so her own daughter can get fucking ahead. Makes no sense. Okay? Then when I seen and I heard that, I said, what a fucking selfish move. You'd rather for her to be here with you and have absolutely nothing, allow everything to go down the fucking drain, okay, just to hold the camera for YouTube. But when I receive my coins, I have nothing to fucking give. I can't give her a new outfit, okay, new shoes. I can't do nothing for her. And Naya knows that shit. That's why she said she ain't making no money from this. Okay, so why do I have to hold your camera? You hold your own shit. You make the way. This is what you chose to do. But she can't do it without her. And it's almost like a force to make her do it. Okay, if you don't do it, then I'm mad. If you don't do it, I got shit to say to you. Don't act like you ain't getting no money from me. You always getting money from me. Now nah, I think it's the other way around. It's hard for her to get shit from you because you don't want to budge and give. But you always got your hand out like she running through. She ran through for Nana. What did you give? Now you gave all that shit. So at the end, I would say zip. I'll keep my mouth closed and just hush it. Okay? You should be saying, well, if you don't want to hold the camera, fine. I got it. And that's where I definitely would call Nika a user. User and fucking abuser in every way possible. Okay? That's why Taquan said, fuck no. And I don't blame him. Okay, but somehow Naya keep falling in the fucking trap. Okay, maybe she's got a soft heart, some fucking word for the kids or something. But you got to live your life, okay, because she don't care about your life. She don't care about your goals and the things that you, you want to do. She don't care, okay. She only wants you right here doing the same shit that she is doing. Cutting up fucking chicken, cooking uh, hot dogs, beans over rice. Now you want to have a conversation about going back to work. Today is Monday and she's supposed to be going back to work today. So then you say, why did y'all have a whole fucking discussion about I ain't making no money, this ain't no money, this and that, when you got a job? You don't have to be here. You don't have to hold the camera and she know that shit because guess what? I do have a real nine to five. I mean, so she fucking tried to say but it don't look that way because you've been there for a minute now. Like... 
Says she's so ready to go back to work she goes back to work supposedly today so then you say well we should see no more videos with you out riding around with Nika okay just being a fucking tag along tag along looking a hot ass mess still since you going back to work I gotta tell him something so let me put Naya in front of the camera Naya is cooking okay Naya is cooking the hot dogs pork and beans over rice Naya is telling the siblings to clean up and when they finish cleaning up make sure they take a bath this is what she's doing but she's not the mother <laughs> I'm just saying y'all make sense of it don't fucking make sense to me three okay base goes to Dollar General going in there and could talk about how it smells like marijuana Naya has the conversation to say it doesn't Nika goes back and forth with her to say oh do you not know what it smell like and Naya has to say oh I, I I for sure know what it smell like okay so this is a conversation between the two. Okay, and then that's where I say, like, Y'all don't think she have a habit? She has a true habit, okay? Either is it smoking or popping? She has a habit, and that's for fucking sure, okay? Feel good, is it? like marijuana. Eddie. It does smell like weed. You don't know what weed smells like? I know exactly. Yeah, exactly what it smells like. Yes, it do. How you gonna tell me? They put it in the Why is y'all sitting in here having a conversation about what it smelled like in the store? Shit, if it smelled like weed, it smelled like weed. I'm not gonna be on camera. Oh, it smell. You must don't know what it smell. Oh, I for sure know what it smelled like. And then I would say, as we always say, Naya is so tired of her and being around her, but some way, somehow, she just can't fucking remove herself. She can't remove herself because she has nothing, okay? She can work and, and maneuver and get to work, all these things, and build for herself. Nika can even help her by giving her a car to say, here, I use this to get back and forth to work. But I think Nika's scared of that because if I give her a car... Okay, she might get too far up and she might leave me. She might leave me and never come back. She never have to depend on me for anything, okay? She'll jump back to Naya is leaving tomorrow. I am going to miss her, taking her with me to have a talk. Now, I'm only going back because the beginning of the video, okay, she talked about addressing a comment that she calls giving a shout out. They talked about Kaya supposedly having a boyfriend and why is it that Kaya can basically talk to boys but Leah can't. Leah can't even have a fucking phone right now so she say and she's 14. But y'all can hear in the short that Kaya is on the phone having a conversation with a boy. It doesn't matter if it's a friend or not. I think I have more things to say with Kaya only being what 11 and in conversation with a boy. Nika is okay with it but you can see who was all sitting at at that table. It was Kaya, it was Naya, and it was Nika. Okay? That's the crew. Okay? You don't see Leah and Twine nowhere in the situation. She's always out the way. But this is the one that's always in trouble. This is the one that wants to sneak out the house with a boy. This is the one that is talking to grown, a grown man over the phone. This is the one that is doing role play. This is the one that's all about boys. But then we have Kaya on here talking about she like girls and boys, right? That's what she put out for the whole world to see of YouTube, okay? Nika had nothing to say. But then she comes on and say none of her kids, not even Leah at being 14, can have no type of relationship with a boy, okay? Nobody is thinking about boys right now. They can't have boyfriends. The only thing they can worry about is their education. Yeah, because people just been talking about Leah with a boyfriend and Kai with a boyfriend. These kids don't even think about no boyfriend. When I was 13, 14 years old, I wasn't thinking about no boyfriend. I wasn't even thinking about no books. I was thinking about running around to be bad or whatever. So get into shit. This generation now, like boys, what in the world? That's why a lot of these young girls out here now are pregnant at 11, 12, and 13 years of age thinking about a boy. You know what comes with a boy? A headache. Like I say, with Leah having a boyfriend or Kai having a boyfriend, not in my motherfucking house not having a boyfriend. I had to deal with that situation with Leah when she was in um, 
she first started off talking to some little boy. He tried to lie to her into doing something stupid. I'm not gonna say what it was. And I told her, I said, that's not your boyfriend, that's not your friend, because little boys ain't up to nothing these days, and they don't want nothing. So, like I said, when y'all say in the conversation about um, Kai kind of having a boyfriend, Leah can't have one, that's not, no, we're not doing that. It must be kids that ask that question, because ain't no way in the world I know an adult will say some mess like that for a 14-year-old child. He's saying she's 13 for a 14-year-old child. Boys are irrelevant right now. It's the most important thing right now is education. Then I say, well, how is it that they can only worry about their education when some of them are supposed to be in summer school and you refuse to fucking take them? How can they only be worried about their education when she come on display, she can't even count money out, okay? And she's 14. So where you speaking, they can't have boyfriends, not allowed to talk to boys and trying to make an excuse that Kaya was only talking to a boy, which is her friend, but... Leah can't do the same, okay? This 14-year-old can't have a phone, but Nana is running around with a phone and throwing up, yeah. Y'all make it make sense, okay? I continue to say her heart is cold and she treat her how she want to treat her when she want to treat her that way, okay? But for Kaya, Kaya can do whatever she want to do. The rest of the kids can do whatever. But Leah... Okay, that's that same one that you called the B-I-T-C-H in the video. Maybe it was a lot of people that didn't run across that or even catch it, but somehow it landed to me again this morning. So guess what? I got to present it. Is that bitch saying my time I'm going to beat her ass? You know what the fuck you doing? Put my shit. I'm going to beat your ass with it. You know what the fuck exactly what you was doing? Oh, this is for real. Oh, this is for real. Is that bitch saying my time I'm going to beat her ass? conversation up about Leah talking about the boys and she can't have a boyfriend and it's all about education education but I don't know how to subtract uh, addition divide multiplication I don't know how to add my money up I don't know how to do calculations it's a fucking problem with that education my kids is suffering within the school system but it's about education but if y'all go back to one of her videos she is sitting here talking about she don't know what's going on with Leah you know one minute she like girls and the next minute she's supposed to be talking to a boy so then that's where I say when did it change because you were so comfortable and okay talking about her dating and all these things and she was young then y'all she was like 12 years old so 12 years old and you was allowing this thing things to take place but now 13 and 14 oh she bored crazy she can't talk to nobody so why was it happening back then and this came out of your mouth I don't want to go out and test the water and I just like like Anybody, I got other kids that's coming up in coming up in the generation of I want a boyfriend or I want this. Like Leah, she's kind of confused on what she want to do. Cause one minute I got a boyfriend, one minute I got a friend, one minute I got a girlfriend. Like what is going on? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm looking like okay, these kids gonna be telling me certain things. My oldest ones, like Naya, Papa, and Leah. She in the next league. But when you in middle school, high school, or whatever, let's get into Leah's situation. If you in middle school, high school, or whatever. You don't know what you want at that time. Because right there, you're just missing and mingling and trying to figure out what you want. You know, it's, it's not like you're in a relationship with anybody, but you're trying to figure out what you want. I'm trying to get the understanding of it because it just don't make sense. It, I don't understand where it was okay and now it's just she all over the place and she doing too much and y'all don't know how I deal with this girl and her bucking up to me and all these things. Let, let's talk about it. Okay, seems like you're the bully here. You're the bully in the situation toward Leah. Okay, it seems like you, 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 you throw up a difference, which we already have said so many times. Okay, you treat one better than the other, but with Leah, it's like she's the fucking outcast. She just, yeah, she's the black sheep. Okay, she don't get treated the fucking same. When Naya in the picture, everything that I go through is times 10 because she has somebody to join in on it. But Kaya, we see no wrong. Kaya, I recorded. But let that be Leah. Can't even have a fucking phone. Me, Okay? Understand Leah. Yeah, Leah. She talked about if y'all seen the messages with the boys. But you was okay with it not too long ago. You was okay with everything she was giving. You was so okay with it. You presented it to YouTube and talked about it. 
Okay, talked about she didn't know which preference, what she liked, what she, you talked about it, okay? But you weren't humiliating her. Humiliation started on the YouTube streets with her when everybody, as you can see, was always worried about her. Then that's where he say, fuck it, I'm finna start humiliating her ass. How the hell is these folks don't even know what go on in my household or even know her and feel the way that they do or like her? Fuck her. Remember? Young age. She's a strong word. She's a bitch. Not only that, what did she call her? A baboon. Hmm. Still remember that. This girl has dealt with so much and it still doesn't stop. She's still dealing with it right now. But not only is she dealing with it in Nika's house, but she also dealing with it with her own breeder, putting it out and presenting it on YouTube to say, yes, I spit on her. Yes, I humiliate her. I give no fucks. <laughs> Hayward? Oh, Hayward want to acknowledge her, but he can't acknowledge these kids. Okay, he want to send her money. She don't want to give me the cash out because thinking that I'm going to take her money. Think of all these type of situations. That's all you have done is taken from her. Birthday money. Did you give her all the money that Hayward sent or did you take some for yourself? Because all of a sudden you was on a come up and buying certain things, this and that. But when I went to her, I only bought her Dollar Tree shit. 11, 12, it's a no-go. You shouldn't be talking to anybody, okay? You should be worried about your education and those things. But in your case, you contradict yourself on every fucking thing you say. You're not worried about these kids and their education. You must heard that shit on another station, on another channel, on another something to sit here and try to present that. Because somebody that's worried about their kids and their kids' education, their kids wouldn't be behind in the grades. The kids wouldn't be just lost and swimming within the school system. They'll be up where they're supposed to be. They'll be getting fucking help. Not only that, if you was worried about the kids' ed education, when you put Elijah on here and you asked him what is his thoughts of the chicken, he should be able to comprehend on it to say, mmm, this tastes good. I give it a 10 out of 10. But he don't know what to say, when to say it, or how to say it. Still gotta be guided, and he is what? Eight years old? Eight years old, but I'm lost. Eight years old, and I'm behind. You know why I'm behind? Because my breeder gives no fuck about our education, but when somebody in the background address her with the truth and point it out to how she is sitting here and having her picks and chooses of who she allowed to do certain things, of who she like and she don't like, who she want to pull out and take with her, and who she want to continue to leave at home, guess what? Who you want to hate on, okay? Guess what? This is what I present you with. This is what I present you with, but it takes one to break it down and say, like, bitch, stop playing. Okay, we see through your shit every time you present it and give it. Predict yourself on every situation. The situation with you and Hayward, you don't know if y'all have eight kids together or you don't. You don't know if uh Nana and Sasa belong to two different people or if they belong to Hayward. You don't fucking know. You don't know if Leah can talk to boys or if you made up these stories that she can't. Then you say, what the fuck are you giving her? You don't know if you are presenting favoritism and everybody on the side, on the outside of the screen can see it all, or if you're not. It's just trying to hold that shit together and you don't know how to hold it together. So when you come on and you present and you try, you try to clean your kids up with them walking in the DSS like I keep they her comb. I keep them this way. And it's only like five, four, three, two, one. Look at Sasa her. Look what she got on. Look at the rest of the kids. I don't give a fuck. Big overgrown lady. Always out getting ice cream and frosties. You don't think uh your kids will want one? Call me. Mm. It's supposed to be a junior. They gave me this. Too much chocolate for me. Mm. It's a hot day. You don't think while you saying out with Naya, okay, about to have a talk, 
What talk do you need to have with a shit? She done been with you every fucking day. Every day. You could have had that talk any time. But this is what I'm present. You ain't going to talk to Naya. You going back on a dollar run. Going back buying some more fucking cereal. How many times do you buy cereal? Seem like you need to take your ass to Sam and buy some fucking big boxes. Because most of the time, the majority of the time, that's what them kids is eating. But I'm always going out on the outing, having a break. Enjoying my summer. Eating Frosties. My kids is at home with their shirts off because it's hot as fuck in the house. And... Yeah, this is my life of me being fucking Shanika Grant. Leah stand tucked away, out the way, out the videos, okay? Don't want to be seen. Don't want to be around Nika and Naya. Don't want to be within conversation. Never pull inside out the house for her just to walk around or go play. She never even took the kids to the fucking park swimming, nothing. And it's summer, okay? They can't even get a fucking frosty. Damn, but I can look. Why is that? Bitch, why you can't give the same? That's what I want to know. You act like it's such a strain. Only for them, not for yourself though, right? Hmm, okay. So tell me, when did she start pulling up to Family Dollar, okay, and then feeling like she has to wait, okay? It's too many people going into the store, so she's trying to wait till some people come out because she don't want to go in there. Why? It's strange just to pull up and you just want to wait outside to kind of get unpacked. Yeah. Did he, um, Mexican or something? He's a Mexican or white, but he's so cheap. That baby black. Wait a minute, her mama black. Anyways, we're here watching people going to the store. I'm about to get ready to go in and watch these um, boys come on, like being around a lot of people. I had to wait, um, Oh, boy, right now. Yeah. He's like, he does still. Oh, Lord. Right, I'm about to get ready to hit it in the store once everybody come out of it. Enjoy the vlog. <laughs> I don't even know all the lyrics. Oh, no. I'm going to tell you, Papa Boy. Oof, my kid. I gotta get my phone. What's crazy to me is what you tell us in the YouTube streets all the time. Uh, mind the business that pays you, worry about yourself, stop worrying about you and your children, but you on the outside of Family Dollar, worried about folks that you don't know, worried about the race of different people and what they may be mixed with and what he's mixed and what is his race. Damn, how do you sit in your car and have a whole conversation about somebody else that you don't fucking know? It don't matter what race they is or they baby. But then you come on and say, oh, we was just we was just watching people come out. Y'all always in conversation about some fucking body that's going into the store or coming on the outside of the store. And then I say, bitch, you don't know how to mind the business that pays you, which means don't worry about other folks and what they got going. Just like that little girl that you put it in your video. OK, then I say, damn, the truth is coming out of who you really want to be. You just mad the fact that you never thought about being in the position to speak up and about people because you and Naya do it all the fucking time. And then that's where I say y'all have no room, no room whatsoever to speak anything about anybody the way you present your kids in out of your fucking living situation. And then that's where I say your fucking resume or should I say your background uh, says more than enough, okay, of where you should keep your mouth just closed, okay? Nothing to say about nobody. And did y'all hear her make the comment talking about, oh, Papa, okay? Papa boy, my kids, my child, something like that. So what did Papa do now? What happened now? What's going on with him now? Because you know what? It's good, too, that he's at the situation, okay? Because y'all play like y'all be so concerned about him and this and that. But can't beat you and Naya talking shit behind him, behind his back. And the crazy part is, Naya, if she do him like that, you don't think she'll do you like that? I'm just saying. Y'all sit here and talk about this boy in front of the camera. Now she come back want him to come to the fucking house. Nobody want to come in that heat box where you continue to leave your kids there all the time, I would say. Hmm. So is you waiting on people to actually come out of Family Dollar or is you waiting on a cash app? You waiting some, for somebody to send you something? It shouldn't be hard to go in there and just 
get a bag of cereal. It don't even take you and Naya to go in there and walk us through the fucking aisles when you know, okay? All she gonna get is some cereal. Serve us lies on the small things, okay? The small things. The small things is if Naya is back, shit, allow her to be fucking back. You need her. Just basically say that. I can't take care of my kids or run my household without Naya. I can't be productive, okay, in these YouTube videos and make money if I don't have her holding the camera and just throw your life away to hold the fucking camera, okay? Just say it, okay? Just say I don't like Leah and I can't stand this girl and just say it because everything you present, that's what we get. You can't stand her and you hate the fact that everybody on her roots for her, not only roots for her, but stand behind her to keep knocking your ass down over each and every day about it, okay? How you try to smooth it over, uh, I love my daughter. I know how, how? At a very young age calling her a bitch, I'm just saying, talking about you'll take the bottle, the soda bottle, and beat her ass with it. Really, let's talk about it, but I don't put my hands on my kids. I may say these certain things, but I don't put my hands on my kids. Bitch, you know what you're giving when you give bit. Okay? When people actually put shit out here on you, it's not a lie. It's not to make you look bad. It's the truth that's being revealed because we don't know what actually takes place behind closed doors. So she say, okay? But it's all presentable in every video and every word you say. All you gotta do is just listen closely and she'll tell on her fucking self. Also, did y'all see the little clip, okay? They at the table eating spaghettis. Oh, I guess you didn't know that Kira, uh shirt was on wrong. Did you not? Okay. You didn't see none of that, right? So you stayed, you, you continued to put her on camera and the shirt fitting like this, right? Because it's on backwards. And nobody is acknowledging that my clothes is on backwards. But I thought you learned, right? Didn't you learn over there on TikTok with your kids having no shirts on and all these things that you can't present them like that? But in some type of way, I still fucking do it. I still do it. But everything that y'all throwed on me was fake allegations. I didn't do this. This didn't happen. But you still doing that same shit right to this day. Okay? You didn't say, fix your shirt, go in there, change it around, can't be on the camera like that. You sit and you record every fucking thing. I mean, some things for your kids is some things for your kids. It's not for the world to see. You know, like you had your baby out here with no diaper on. It's certain things like that to allow everybody to know the allegations can't never be fake. This is the real shit that you give us each and every day, but you try to present and cover up with excuses, and then we say, damn, this hoe is a walking prediction. Damn, this is another move of her contradicting herself of everything that she fucking give. That's what I would say on this day. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's all that I have for this reaction video. If y'all like this reaction video, let's throw those thumbs up. And if you have not, I do ask that you do do. Do 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 subscribe. But y'all already know anything that it's la la give over here ain't nothing ever for us. But what I do ask for you to do is drop y'all comments down below about all these trifling ass situos. What you think about what she giving with Naya? What you think about the hair situation? Do you think it's the pressure? It's the pressure that allows her to come on here and try to speak that shit good like we don't know what we talking about. It's the pressure. The pressure that makes her take her hair out and say, oh, it was bothering my oh. All of a sudden, you can't deal with the her, right? Mm, okay. All of a sudden, you can't deal with people talking and knowing, oh, now you must be back in the situation. Now you must have fell backwards in the fucking trap and can't get out. Another situation where you say you have nothing against Leah, but you continue to put it out here. And then when you put it out here and address it, there is always another platter that's waiting to the side just to serve your ass so you can eat it. I would say on this day. Anyways, y'all, see y'all on the next reaction video. Peace. <laughs>